Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Libra. You have the getting to know each other, true love, release your ex, pay attention to red flags, past life relationships, and flirt. All right. Whew, heavy energy <laughs> for you, Libras. All right. So what they're saying here is the card that sticks out the most to me is release your ex. I feel that Libras have been going through this craziness of dealing with exes for the past like two years. And what they're telling you here is I feel that for some of you guys, you haven't either gotten over an ex or you continuously keep comparing people that come into your life with an ex partner. Now, what they're saying here is that it is very important at this point in time, the time has come to clear your energy, to embrace a new beginning. Um, now, this could speak about letting go, completely releasing your ex, no longer dealing with them, blocking them, uh, making sure that there's no point in contact anymore or that you don't allow them to pop in and out of your life whenever they choose. Now, you also do have the getting to know uh, each other card and the pay attention to red flags and flirt. To me, these three cards speak very highly about you being either attracted or very pulled towards people that are not true or that are not authentic. So what I mean by that is it could represent that you often put yourself in situations where you end up falling for people that are either cheaters or or that are not willing to settle down or that they promise you but it's almost like empty promises and you're often being you like you're put often in a situation where you tend to go back to your ex but the reason for it is not because now for some it could be there's a past life relationship here but for the majority i feel that the reason why you continuously keep bringing your ex or putting them in your present is because things uh, when you try out other relationships, it just doesn't work out. So it's easier for you to contact or to fall back to that ex-partner. Um, it's almost like uh, the only thing that makes sense when it comes to relationships for you guys. And Spirit is here to tell you, Libra, wake the hell up. You need to stop doing that. You need to stop chasing people that you don't really know. And I know that Libras have a tendency of romanticizing relationships. And then when it, get, when it gets heavy or when it gets difficult, you start to like balance the scales. You start to figure out, well, is it really worth putting so much effort? Everything is nice when it's like pink and rosy, you know. But when it gets difficult, oftentimes you guys have a tendency of running away from uh, challenges. Uh, and it's not because of anything other than it is your natural nature. You guys don't like conflict. It's very necessary for you guys to be able to weigh your options. And in weighing options, oftentimes, uh, you know, being very unassertive or being extremely undecisive is something that, you know, really triggers Libra. So again, what they're telling you here is open yourself up or give yourself the opportunity for true love connecting with people but taking the time to get to know them not falling head over heels for someone that is portraying to be something without really knowing them and they're also warning you pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and it's almost like you either ignore it or you try to convince yourself that you don't see them until it becomes very toxic that you're like well you know this is really not working out for some of you guys, it could be that either you have a tendency of dating people that are very flirtatious and then later on in the relationship, that's an issue. If it's an issue from the very beginning, then perhaps it's not something that you should continue pursuing. So again, we go back to that of paying attention to your red flags. Now, I do see true love and a past life relationship. For some of you guys, uh, this is a new love that's coming in, new love that is a connection, um, a person that is vibrating to the same of your frequency. Now, for others of you, this could very well be speaking about um, per perhaps some of you guys, an ex partner, that there was an authentic connection there, but because maybe you were flirtatious or because maybe you didn't want to settle, 
uh, you walked away from that connection. So maybe that's why it's so difficult for you to pull away from this because there was a link there already. Now, if that is the case for you, know and understand that what Spirit is telling you is you weren't ready then and you're not ready now. And if this person has a contract with you, they will come back or you will go back to them. Uh, but at this present time, it's important to work on self-growth. And the only way to do that is, again, to stop dealing with people that are of such low frequency or people that you know off the bat are not looking for commitment, but you convince yourself that you'll change their mind. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out two cards here, and these are the energies that are currently influencing or affecting you. And you have Cancer's energy. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Cancer. For others of you, you may be dealing with um, with the Scorpio energy. We have Pluto here. Um, with the Cancer, I feel that in regards to energy, uh, feeling sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic. I feel that nostalgic is something that I was feeling with the release your ex type of energy where you often find yourself thinking about the past or wanting to go back to the past. But with Pluto's energy here, what they're telling you is you need to let go of the feeling um, of being overwhelmed with sentiment of regret. If you effed up, we all do. That's part of life. Um, you got to let go of that. Either do what you got to do to make this happen. If there is a past life connection, if you feel it to the bones that there is a lifetime connection with someone from your past, then do what you got to do to win them back. But if you don't, it's time for you to embrace the transformation meaning it's time for you to let go of that and start a new beginning this is to do with renewal this is with basic instinct motivation personal power evolution growing cycles death and rebirth so again stop dwelling in the past libra i feel that this is repetitive because we've been having a lot of these messages for libras for the past two years but i think that at this point what spirit is telling you is you need to wake the hell up either make a decision stop being so indecisive okay all right my lovelies i hope this gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon bye